Hi guys, I'm Marticor, and the Rogine family needs some renovations to their house, as you can see, because the walls are empty and there's no floor in the bathroom. So I will do this today. After two days of gameplay, I think, uh, because Unifu technically sent them the money at the end of the round. So I will do it a little bit faster, but not at the very beginning, so that it kind of makes sense and they still live in this raw bathroom that I made for them recently so that I don't change this immediately, you know? But I will give them the money right away. We will just kind of hesitate with the renovations. Because I kind of want to um, put a floor in here. So yeah, we will use a little bit of this money to just at least have a floor in the bathroom. So I think the easiest way is just to type ka twice. There's no need to bother with uh, mods because I, I subtracted this money from Unifu. I didn't like send it or something. So yeah, so I just had to add the 2000 in this family. So what kind of floor can I do here? Because I want this part to be a lot different from this part, you know? Like the shed stays, but the rest of the house is kind of modern. So I think I should go with tiles. It has to be kind of similar to the Zoebi family's house. I didn't even realize there were tiles like that. This is pretty cool. Although with the diagonal wall, uh, it can be kind of weird, but let's see how it goes. Oh, there are flowers as well. This is cute. I like that. There are so many things in The Sims 2 that I just don't even realize what, the, what there is, you know? Like, you have to go through all of those pages of stuff. And sometimes you just don't notice something. Okay. Yeah, this looks quite nice, I think. And maybe we will go for black walls in this bathroom. And I will also change the, uh, the plumbing, I think, so that it matches everything. And for now, that's it. They only went past the money that they had by 10 simoleons, so I think that's fine. Okay, so, oh my god, he wants to have a baby! That is so cute, Vatig. <gasps> I love this! Oh my god, this is too much for my emotions. <laughs> yes, please! Somewhere at the end of this round, we will definitely have a baby. I think on the last day, I will go through Nian's pregnancy, and yeah, you will see what comes out. Definitely a white baby, like, you know, the mannequin skin that I will probably change because I want um, Vatig's skin to be present on this planet. There is Hanmoka, who I also edited in SimPE, uh, but I will also edit this baby, I think. Uh, someone sent me kind of a mod for this skin to not be as dominant, but you have to replace the skin's file, and I'm not really that happy about that, about, about doing that, and I'm not sure if it's not gonna conflict with the Equal Genetics mod, even though Equal Genetics doesn't do anything with skins, but still, I don't know, like... I don't really feel that good about it, so uh, yeah, so I will just uh, change this baby if it appears mannequin skinned, which it probably will. Okay, you can eat something before work, she is at work already make some more money so that I can improve the house even better. Oh, you didn't put away leftovers, that's fine. I have to look at the house from uh, from this perspective now. Maybe I will go for this pers- oh, maybe not, because this these trees will stay, I think. It still has to be a little bit foresty, you know, because that's the characteristics of this lot. Um, I will cut a few more trees, like two, I think, because they are in the way here. But that's it. All the all the other trees are supposed to stay. Uh, so yeah, this is, um, this is not the best view, you know? <laughs> so I, I think I will go for this. Oh, she got promoted and she brought uh, La Pelizzi, I think. Yeah, she works in business. Good to know. Wait, which level is she on? What did the game provide for her? Oh yeah, she's a business tycoon, so she is like the boss of the bosses. <laughs> the ultimate boss. Okay, so we should probably suck up to her. Oh, and she needs to feed our dog. <laughs> where is the bowl? From this perspective, I can't remember where anything is. 
Why is the hammock here? Oh, okay, but it's very, very dirty. Elaganda is no longer a family friend, why? Sisters, right? Yeah, maybe call her. Wow, that, that bowl was really dirty. <laughs> it took her like an hour to clean it. Elaganda is at work? She works somewhere? I didn't... Oh, maybe I did that, yeah. I think so, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, they have 3,000 now. I think we can easily make a baby room and uh, just have a baby now. Oh, yeah. So tomorrow after 6 p.m. I think I will already renovate the house, uh, like, half through the round. Does she have anything to learn? No, she is overqualified for this job. I don't think you should be tossing football with a werewolf. He's probably a bit too powerful for this, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't seem very safe. Oh yeah, sponge bath. Because Vatig was very dirty as always. Nien doesn't have a secondary aspiration? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Martikor from the past? Why didn't you do this? I think she is a total romance. Um, but I won't give her romance now because they are supposed to start a family and stuff. So I am torn between popularity and fortune because fortune kind of makes sense to her story because she works in business, especially now that she changed houses so she doesn't look, that doesn't live in a big mansion anymore. So maybe that kind of changed things for her and she just wants to have more money now to, yeah, to have a nice house and stuff. I think I will go for fortune for her actually. Uh, popularity would be fine for her even though she's grouchy because she's very outgoing uh, and she could just have like a difficult personality to de deal with but she still wants to meet up with people and make friends. But I think fortune makes more sense even if she's lazy especially that well she takes uh, some money from her dad so the laziness kind of goes with it I guess. So it's kind of a conflicted personality if you ask me. Like, she wants pleasure and fortune, which go together very well, um, but because of the pleasure and fortune mix, she is kind of lazy and kind of like whatever, because she's playful as well, but at the same time she wants to have more money, so yeah. So she kind of feel like, feels like she has to work on it, but she's like, well, <laughs> I can relate to that. Have I mentioned that you can be a member of this channel? Just click the join button under the video and you will get a special badge and a special emoji and streams only for you and other members of course. Gandolia works in business. Oh, she's a mailroom technician so it's kind of like she just got the job that Nian had a second ago. I think you could be friends. I like that idea. Gandolia is really cool. Oh no, she gave us a TV I think. No, a computer. You know what? We'll take it. Thank you, Gondolia. This time we'll take it. Oh, we have sunflowers from the Nykmans. We can plant some more here. <laughs> we already have sunflowers. And we have some produce to stock in the fridge. That's good. And it's almost 6 p.m., so I will now do some renovations. What do you want? Oh, okay. Yeah, it is very dirty in here. So maybe first clean up before I do stuff to the house.
Okay, for now it looks like this. Uh, definitely their bedroom will be upstairs. Uh, there will be another floor in this house as well. And now they don't really have much room for that baby, but um, yeah, I will just make that room upstairs when they have a little bit more money, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, and Vatik's place will still be here. He will have his stuff, uh, his pottery, his easel, you know, uh, fridge, even the bathtub so that when he becomes the werewolf he can just hang out there or something and he can take a bath whenever he wants. Where can I put this so that it's not here? <laughs> oh, okay, this works, I guess. And the grill should maybe go... definitely not inside. <laughs> maybe here? Oh, and the hammock! Yeah, he should definitely have the hammock here. And also Algada has some of her stuff here, because there's a lot of space, uh, so we can easily just have that here. Oh, we got bills to pay. Okay, good I didn't spend all the money. So for now the kitchen is actually here, but there will be proper kitchen somewhere here, I think. This will be like a living room plus kitchen place. Maybe I will actually make the bathroom a little bit smaller. I'll think about that. And another window here, maybe. Can't cry. Why? Algada doesn't have anything to eat. Oh no. I think her bowl should be inside, so that stray dogs don't just eat from it. From the Nykman's produce you had a tomato and two peppers, I think. And you put that in your cereal? Interesting. Oh, hey mom. Family kiss. Oh, yeah, she has food poisoning, I think. <laughs> because she's sloppy and she ate something bad. They said I ate something bad, then was it taste so good? <laughs> I never trust a narcissist, but they love me. So I play them like a violin, and I make you look oh so easy. I should be getting her pregnant tonight or tomorrow in the morning so that she gives birth still in this round. Yeah, I think it should be tonight because in the morning it might might be kind of hard. They are both going to work and I think Andolia will now be the person that she always brings from work, which is very sweet and I think they will be best friends. Soon, why are you here? You're a teenager. Where, where did you come from? And, um, Addis, did we invite you? <laughs> okay, the dog stinks and we will have cockroaches very soon. So just do the stuff and uh, maybe say goodbye to all the people and try for that baby. Did someone clog the toilet? <laughs> really? Well, Vatig has a lot of mechanical, so he will be fixing everything in the house. Uh, yeah, I was planning to do that, but can we do it my own way? Try for baby, not woohoo, with uh, like 2% of risk of getting pregnant? Maybe even 1%, I'm not sure. I would have to check. I have it different in every town. Uh, yeah. Too bad she doesn't want to have a baby, even though he is a pleasure sim and he rolled that want. Maybe it's the knowledge talking, but... <laughs> For her, it could be fortune talking, so yeah. Did it work? Oh, it didn't. Hello? Still nothing? Oh man, I think I will try in the morning, actually. Once again. Yeah, when he's not in his werewolf face, maybe... Maybe it will work. Finally. Yeah, sometimes you're just unlucky. You do it like four times and it just doesn't work and sometimes it's, it's at, you know, at first try. Because it's just a chance. Okay, thank you. Oh, the, the house, this part of the house isn't painted outside. I will take care of it. Okay, the kitchen is almost done. <laughs> I just um, found a very small corner for that kitchen. I think it's enough. Of course, the bed won't be here. This will be like the living room. Okay. She's even wearing 
correct colors for her family. That's good. Oh, and Unifu is here too. And Vatig uh, made some money. 5,000. Oh yeah, and you guys are woohooing because trying for baby three times doesn't cut it. Yeah, I know. I know how it works. I mean, I know how ACR works, not trying for baby. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Nian has the day off today. And she is in labor. Uh, but she also has the day off, so that means no payment. He is going to work, but then he has two days off. So we will have to wait long to make the upstairs for this house. Uh, so for now, they will just be living with the baby in one room. But at least they have more space. There is at least space for a crib. Ah, I need to save this. Because I kind of want Vatik to have a boy. And I already have a name prepared for him. Yeah, okay, it's a mannequin-skinned boy. Actually, the firstborn. Wouldn't it be cool if he had black eyes after Nien? I think this could work really nicely with a Vatig offspring, with a Rodin offspring. Um, to have kind of like a mix of werewolf traits, but also black eyes, so that looks a little bit more scary, I guess. I'm not sure if this baby will have actually um, werewolf gene. I haven't decided yet. I know that Hanmoka will be a werewolf whenever she can. I will make her a werewolf because it's kind of perfect for her. But for this baby, I don't know yet. So I will try to get black eyes on this baby. I hope I can. So a boy with black eyes, um, skin color doesn't matter, hair color doesn't matter. And the second mix will have probably Vatig's personality, but at least one of the parents, it will be a clone. So let's not do that, even if he has black eyes, but he doesn't, he has gray, I think. Yeah. People who mostly watch the Genesee family probably don't realize that I actually breed babies like crazy. Like, not that I make a lot of babies, I just go back and forth in the labor to get the perfect baby. Like, this is my thing. I can go up to like 30 times sometimes and <laughs> just to get the baby I want. Oh, it's a girl, so no thank you. And I think she doesn't have black eyes either. Is this possible? I really hope it is. Because technically you can't really have black eyes aside of alien skin, but the equal genetics mod fixes that. But I don't know if it fixes that for the mannequin skin. So if it doesn't work next time that we have a boy, maybe I will also change that in SimPE along with the skin. Because I have a feeling like this might not be possible to actually make a baby that has black eyes and mannequin skin. You can easily do that in cast in debug mode, but I don't think it is actually possible to do it genetically. Oh, that skin looks weird on a baby because, you know, like... Without the fix, your game will just crash if you try to have a mannequin skin the baby. So <laughs> I am not surprised that it looks kind of weird on the baby. Like the hairline is kind of, yeah, like there is even hairline. <laughs> that is weird enough. So I will actually change both his skin and his eye color. I think only Elaganda will have mannequin skin children. And maybe La Ross, because he has the mannequin skin too, just, you know, on top of it, he has the vampire skin. And the zombie skin now. <laughs> okay, so his name will be Narst. Uh, hi, Lavin. You want to see the baby? <laughs> Vatig is very happy, but he doesn't want to change a diaper. And this is the end of the round, so next round we will find out what the baby looks like. Oh, she didn't actually have a day off, because it only said that she... Yeah, it only said that it's her day off because she was still pregnant. Okay, so I think Vatig will have to take his vacation day, because she is already in the car. She just really wanted to go to work. So this will be it for this episode. I really hope it wasn't too short. It definitely isn't the final renovation. The house still needs a lot of work and a lot of money put into it. But we're getting there. Okay, so we have our little Narst that will look completely different after I edit him. So don't get used to it too much. And Vatig really has become a family man. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, and subscribe, like the video. And see you in the next one. Bye.